Hey everybody, Tuan and Guy here. Um, it's been a very long time, years I think, since I made a video. And um, mainly because I decided that I'd step away from um, making videos and activism and ministry to uh, focus on myself and, and pursue some things that I needed in my life. And um, quite honestly, I just was tired and um, told God I didn't want to do ministry anymore. I didn't want to be an activist anymore. And I thought that I'd successfully um, put that part of myself to sleep <laughs> until um, having a conversation with my mother this morning. And um, she was able to wake up that part of me and I couldn't resist. I guess the fire has been lit again. So thanks, Mama. Um, in light of all of the stuff that's going on with um, the media and what in Orlando and that tragedy that happened there, um, I, I asked God this morning, you know, what am I supposed to be learning from this? What are we as a society, as a people supposed to learn from this? And one of the things that I got was um, unless we learn how to love, this is gonna continue to happen. Things like this are gonna continue to happen. Those of us who say we know God, that we love God, that we represent God, you know, unless we start showing people the love of God and not just preaching about it, unless we start living the unconditional nature of what love is, unless we start showing people the peaceful, kind, patient, um, forgiving, long-suffering, um, character of love, unless we start showing that to people and start living it in our everyday lives and showing and teaching people about that versus how to build, how to build big churches and how to get money, um, this is going to continue to get worse. It's going to keep going on and on and on. And the common denominator in all of this that's going on um, with this um, tragedy is um, love. People who were loved are loved. People who wanted to be. Um, and the second thing that we are missing is this isn't about guns. This isn't about politics. This isn't about um, LGBT, you know, exclusivity. This is not um, about even religion. This is about people. The main thing about this story, this whole tragic situation, is that 50 people are dead now. 53 more people were wounded. And it was all done at the hand of a tormented person. Get that. This is about people. And we are all arguing and up in arms about man-made stuff like religion and, and guns and the club. And people have, and hundreds more people have had their lives turned upside down. Hundreds more people are grieving and are in pain now because of this situation that actually could have been avoided um, and we, I mean, we could either use this situation to further divide us or we could use this, we can learn this from this situation and unite and try to fix this so that it doesn't happen again. And so... With that said, to the people who lost their lives, who are now 
ancestors, thank you. We love you. We miss you. We will miss you. And we thank you for your light. Thank you for what you were able to show us and share with us while you were here. To the people who were wounded, I pray for a speedy recovery and I pray for your emotional, spiritual, and physical healing. And to all of the people who lost loved ones, who are in, who are in mourning, who are grieving, I pray that God give you peace and that you be comforted. That's, that's what I pray for. And as it relates to this young man who caused all of this, where do I start? <laughs> um, the first thing I'd like to say is that when I heard that he, when I heard that what sparked this or what triggered this is he saw two men kissing in Miami two months ago. The first thing I thought in my head was um, something that Bishop John Shelby Spong said in one of his books. He said, one cannot persecute what one is not attracted to. Meaning, if two men kissing was not something he wasn't attracted to, this wouldn't have bothered him and it wouldn't have triggered this response. And it was only able to trigger this response mainly, and I will say that in as far as an indictment, I think religion has to, the religious community, not just Muslim, not just Christian or whatever, you know, we got to do better about teaching people about God. I mean, think about the torment he must have been in to be taught that he is supposed to love a God who hates him for something that he cannot control or did not choose. You know, think about how unlovable that makes you feel to know that God that you're supposed to love, that you're supposed to obey, hates you, is disgusted by you. And then to be... Um, to live in a society that hates you because you're Muslim or to, to be a part of a subculture or want to be a part of a subculture that is, is telling you that because you're a man of color or because you're fat or because of um, whatever, you're not fashion forward you know you don't think Beyonce's the shit <laughs> you know you're unlovable and to want to 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 want to be free to just be yourself and live in peace but you can't because everybody is telling you that you are unlovable you can't sit with us God hates you. So to see people living their lives freely and celebrating being proud of being able to live your life freely in a place like a club where you are actually free and supposed to be safe to be yourself. You know that I, you can only give what you have. You can only share what you have. So just think about the internalized hatred that he had to be able to go into a place where people were happy, where people were going and they were happy to be there and just express this type of pain. We, we got to do better. I, you know, and I'm not at, at all defending this heinous act. I'm not at all defending what he did. I think it's deplorable. Um, but at the end of the day, he was a person. A person who was hurting a lot, apparently. 
you know, you have to be in a lot of pain. You have to be tormented to want to kill people. So that's my take on it. You know, and I decided that, you know, I guess I needed to share, even though it may be unpopular with some people. Um, we got to do better. Those of us who are enlightened, we got to do better at showing people the love of God and teaching people about the love of God so that this kind of stuff can stop. Until my next video. <laughs> Thanks. Peace.